Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be week four of my low buy collaboration with me and some of my friends on YouTube. Now, I love this collaboration. I just decided during Christmas time, I needed a way to use up some wax. And let me tell you, the low buy, quoting Jenny here on YouTube, I'm failing miserably. It's okay. It's okay. I'm the type of person when I'm stressed, I buy. When I'm happy, I buy. When I'm sad, I buy. And you know what I buy? Wax. 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 Lots of wax. Anyway, this week on the Low Buy Collab, I created Use Your Favorite Wax. Everybody has a drawer of their favorite wax that they're holding on to because they love it. But if you're holding on to it, you're not using it, so you're not enjoying it. You're sniffing it, and you're loving it. You guys knew this was going to be in my favorites. Anyway, this after last week, Risky Week, where I told you and challenged you to melt wax that is not your favorite, scents that sit in your collection that you do not like, uh, quote by Charity, I believe she said, I created the challenge to see who would vomit first. Clearly Charity won. My little Charlie Brown, I love me some Charity Rose. She cracks me up when I watch her videos. Hubby's not watching, is he? Anyway, um, yeah, so super excited for this week. I knew it was going to be challenging for you and for everyone. That's why I figured the next week I needed to create a challenge for you to make it a little bit easier. So it's a chance to melt your favorite wax. And in this basket is my favorite wax. So without further ado, let's get into it. I know I'm going to sound like a broken record when I talk about this basket because after every single scent, oh, I love it. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's my favorite. It's a favorites basket. First and foremost, I want to melt this week some sweet plum pastry. You know I have a love-hate relationship with Scentsy. It's a super expensive habit, and I talk about it a lot that I need two full bars to get a day of scent in my home. And for me, that's expensive for a day. Anyway, I cannot get this scent anywhere else, hence why it's in my Scentsy Club. I think I have like 45 bars. So this week, I am melting two bars, matches my hair, of my favorite sweet plum pastry. This scent, look how yellow this is becoming already. I just don't know why. It is so good. It's decadent. It's rich. The plum is slightly fruity, but it's jammy, and it's pastry-like and sugary. And this scent is such a good performer. It will always stay in my club. I will always get myself some bars of sweet plum pastry. Moving on, I actually have a two, three scoops, and now even though scoops are not my favorite form of wax, the fragrances I picked are. And the first is from L3 Waxy Wonders Ants Jam Fill Jelly Rolls, and I need to use this up, and the next time she offers Ants Jam Fill Jelly Rolls in loaves, just straight up Ants Jam Fill Jelly Rolls um, in loaves, I need to order, no joke, four loaves. I need to have so much of this scent on hand. This is another scent I cannot find anywhere else. It is strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. The combination is so rich. The strawberry jam here is so just fruity and delicious. And I want to stick a spoon in here. I will stick a spoon in here. Scoopable spoon. And just like bathe in it. I cannot get over this scent and the way she blends it. It is so rich. It's the cake. It's the powdered sugar. It's the cream cheese. It's the strawberry jam. Perfection at its finest. I love this scent. I do get hit and miss products or scents from L3 
This is one I always get performance from. So, might as well get the scoops out of the way next. We have from Zape. Now, I will say, Zape scoops, not my favorite. They're very, like, Vaseline-like and very sticky. I don't like scoops in general from anybody. Um, love the performance. Think they're super messy. Anyway, yeah, I'm still sick. I'm never going to not get sick. Never get away from being sick. Cider Lane. Now, not that Zapes is my favorite Cider Lane. All the Cider Lane dupes, except L3s, smell the same. It's that rich, ooey-gooey, apple caramel scent that is my kryptonite. I love it so much. And this scent is so good. And I've had this for a while. And it's a scoop. Don't love scoops. Love the scent. So this is a perfect week to enjoy a favorite and to get this out the door. So Zyder Lane, always a classic. In scoops from Candles by Victoria. Again, one of my favorite vendors. I love Candles by Victoria. This is a big, she calls them scoops and scent in Granny's Pie Crust. I have not touched this, but this scent, it's so simple. Pie Crust. Did I talk about it before? It's the most buttery, richest pie crust fragrance I've ever smelled. So simple. This year, everybody in this collab, I'm telling you, you have to try Candles by Victoria, and especially this scent. It blows me out of the water every time in candles and tarts. And I know in scoops, it's going to be so strong. It just has like the sweet, that salty, the buttery, the flaky pastry. Nothing else. And this can turn any of your favorite fruity scents into pie. And who doesn't like pie? I love that scent. Also from Candles by Victoria are her little cube melts. So her cube melts look like this. They're little cubes, so they're easy to pop a few in a warmer. And this is in her fragrance, Chantilly Lace. Total opposite end of the spectrum from Granny's Pie Crust. This is floral, this is bright, this is just a touch powdery and feminine, but it's like baby bubble bath with beautiful bar soap and sophisticated perfume all in one. This, I'm not going to use all of this this week or the scoop, but I want this in my bathroom this week. I love the scent, I hoard the scent, and I never melt it, so it needs to get melted. Next, from Teddy Bees, I was not sure if I was going to include this because I haven't melted it previously, but this is in her pre-order right now, and I did order, I think I ordered a loaf in this. This is Tiff's favorite bakery. I also am in a little tiff with Teddy Bees because I'm upset that there's no chunk muffins, or chunk, chunk bags. I love these bags. I love how thick they are. She's offering these tubs that kind of look like potato salad containers. I don't know. It's the same amount in the chunks, but they're in like a plastic cup. Let me know down below how you feel. I am not a fan, and I'll be the first to admit it. I ordered 12 of them because I want more than a souffle, but I don't want as much as a loaf. You know, the struggle. Anyway, Tiff's favorite bakery. Blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. This scent. The blackberry jam is not blackberry jam butter cookies. It's so, so jammy. And that's what I think, you'll notice the theme, I love a jammy scent. I love anything that smells like food, obviously. But the jamminess of the blackberry jam, and I've been testing out Teddy Bees this week. This chunk, I've gotten thirds. I get great performance from Teddy Bees with little amounts in my Scentsy warmers. So good. This is so good. That's why I placed an order that went over my budget two and a half times. You know what the budget is. Two and a half times. Anyway. Yeah. It's a rich, buttery, um, blackberry, waffle cone bakery scent. It is so good. I can't get enough of this, so I'm glad I ordered a loaf. From Super Tarts, while I wait for my Wax Wednesday order of three BAM bags in this scent, I decided I'm going to use up a scent shot in Jaws. Now, I probably plan on cutting this in half or in thirds and melting this different times in my bathroom. This is like ozone, sweet plum, there's that plum, 
and a little bit of like salted pear. It's fresh, it's fruity. It's not salty sea air, Lexi, but it's so good. Oh, that's why I have a whole Jaws sampler. And I was like, maybe I'll do like other scents besides Jaws because I have the whole sampler, but it's this favorites week and Jaws is my favorite. I do like the blends, but original Jaws cannot go wrong with it. And like I said, by the time, hopefully, January's over, she'll be shipping out Wax Wednesday orders. So hopefully by Valentine's Day, I want to say, we'll have our Wax Wednesday orders. Super excited. All right, next we'll talk about Sassy Girl Aroma. I only have one thing from Sassy Girl because I'm working through my chunk muffins. I don't love how these store. I prefer the brittles. So I want to get these out of my collection. I do have two brittles in this coming that are still available in her pre-order, I believe, that closes Sunday. I could be wrong. Um, fell in love with this scent. This is Date Night. This is sweet strawberries, vanilla ice cream, and peach nectar. Again, that peach nectar is like jam. It's so decadent. It's like whenever you go to like Amish country and you get homemade jam that you know they like boil the containers, the mason jars or the ball jars so they seal and you crack it open. It's almost like you can smell the flesh of the peach, the pit of the peach, the fuzzy skin of the peach, every aspect of the peach mixed with juicy strawberry and whipped cream. I, I've never smelled a scent so juicy and decadent peach wise as this I can't wait to melt that um let's do rose girls you know I had to do it moo moo track one of my friends sent me half of a muffin a chunk muffin in moo moo track it's when I fell in love with it I've never even melted it yet I own so much moo moo track and I know favorites week I have to give it a shot so because it's a smaller piece probably do it in my bathroom but if you're unfamiliar with Moo Moo Track, this is a banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries, birthday cake, and marshmallow smoothie. It's, it's heaven. It's banana pie, strawberries, and cakey marshmallow goodness. There's not much more to say about this than it's heaven in a bag. It's heaven in a bag. Date Night. This was a quick love from Rose Girls the second I smelled it. And it is a blend of Pink Sugar, Twilight Woods, and Biolage. And RIP to the original Ch Rose Girls chunks. I miss these so much. Mini Melters are just so boring to me. Rose Girls is famous for her chunks. She said she loses money on them when she makes them. If people are willing to buy them, I would think as a business owner, you want to make them. Anyway this scent. I don't know how the Pink Sugar, the Twilight Woods, and the Biolage shampoo blend together. I just talked about this in my Rose Girls video. I ordered two mini melter bags of it. Now, I also got this in August, so it's definitely got enough cure time. I have enough of this. I could probably do it in my whole house. I don't know. I, I love this scent. It's just the hair care, the perfume, and the woodsy. It's so good. And then another love I'm going to do throughout my whole place. I have two chunk muffins in Circus Concession. I now have five mini melter bags in it as well. This is Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. So good. And like, look how pretty. Like, this is the color of Circus Concession. Creamy yellow, pink, red, and blue. Colors of the Circus, it's the best circus scent out there. If you like caramel, apple, bakery type of scents, if you like anything that is like decadent bakery apple goodness, you would love Circus Concession. And I hope I get some good performance from it because I have lots of mini melters. All right, let's move on to my last two vendors. Can you guess? I bet you can. If you guessed Destination Wax as one, you're right. I have two scents here from Destination Wax, and the first one is Moon Spice Cookie. Sugar cookies, coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. Oh, this scent, you guys, is so rich. 
Celtic Moon Spice on its own, I haven't tried, but blended with the coffee cookies, it almost adds like a snickerdoodle element to it. And this was poured in July, so she is ready to go. Oh my god, I love this. I have a loaf in it. I think I actually have two loaves in it. It's so coffee. So coffee. And I'm actually off of work tomorrow, which... I'm filming this tonight. We'll probably upload it tonight. So yeah, Sunday. I'm off of work. So if you're watching this on Sunday morning, this is going in the morning in all of my warmers. And I am in coffee heaven. I dropped one. <laughs> Quickie wedding. Fresh strawberries, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. You know I love me some strawberry seeds. And this just amps up strawberry seeds. Even more with marshmallow. It's so good. Destination Wax has one of the best strawberry scents. I also have two loaves in Strawberry Seeds, just plain. And I also have a loaf in Quickie Wedding. I already went through my bar, my breakaway bar, in Strawberry Seeds. But I haven't corrected my loaves yet, maybe for loaf week. But I definitely love Quickie Wedding and have a loaf in it too. So I'm like, it's time to break into these. It's not doing any good sitting in my drawer. Strawberry Marshmallow Goodness. And then... Can you guess? Can you guess? My favorite vendor? I'll just straight up tell you who my favorite vendor is. I'll make it in, I'll make a video on my favorite vendor soon. You know who it is. It's my girl Kirby, Vintage Chic Sense. And it's not necessarily my personal relationship with Kirby, why she's my favorite vendor. I have known her for years. There's something about her company. I love their shapes. I love the blends. I love the scents. It does help that she's just an incredible human being. And her daughter Nellie is adorable. And it's just... So many of her scents are favorites for mine. So it was hard to narrow. I think I have... I have four favorite scents from her in this basket. I definitely have a lot more. But I feel like when you think of Drew, you think of Vintage Chic Scents. And just to be clear, like, I don't get wax for free. She might end up, like, sending me, like, a little bag of extras because she wants me to try a scent or, you know, something. But, like, I don't get discounts. I don't pay for my wax. Or I, I do pay for my wax. I don't get it for free. So, like, yeah, I just want to put that disclaimer out there because I know there's been chatter on wax chat about um, other people. Not necessarily me, but getting free wax all the time and you're not being honest with reviews and we do this for fun and it's a hobby for us it's an expensive hobby that's for sure but I feel like vendors are people they know what you like you build connections with them and I've known Kirby since the days on YouTube where she made Lush cocktails when I first started working at Lush, that's how I discovered her when I was like 17 years old and I was looking for a job. Fell in love with Lush. Knew I wasn't old enough. Literally studied Lush open to close and got a job when I turned 18. That was my first job. I've always worked in luxury retail my whole life. Um, but yeah, and loved her bath cocktails before she even started a company. And I've been supporting Kirby from the beginning of her launch. I remember when she first launched. I have a video. I'll actually link that video down below. My first video with VCS. Anyway. Come back to Earth, Drew. And come back. Sweeney's Barber Shop. So many of you put this in your risky week. I'm so sad about it. I hope you loved it as much as I do. This is... Fresh strawberries blended with minty shaving cream. And this guy has some age on it. September 17th, 2020. This was poured a good long while ago. So she is ready to go. And that's another thing why I love Kirby. I can buy as much as I want all the time. Knowing that if I have the room for it and I have the funds, I can keep it for years. I have something from her. Pour fresh September 2016. I know it's going to throw still. Her wax ages like a fine wine. She's called Vintage Chic Scents for a reason. She's vintage. She loves all things vintage. Her wax is vintage. It withstands the test of time. A good fragrance and never goes out of style. 
neither does Sweeney's Barbershop. Minty Strawberry Shaving Cream. One of the best scents out there. Trust me, I don't care if you don't like shaving cream. I don't care if you don't like mint. I don't care if you don't like strawberry. Try Sweeney's Barbershop. It'll change your life. <coughs> Why? Just try it. The Warrens. This is another favorite of mine. This is glazed cinnamon donuts and a warm cup of malt cider topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. This is her homemade version of Cider Lane. It's a little bit more bakery, almost like a Cider Lane donut. And I love the colors that she does on these old fashioned roses. Another classic scent. The Warrens, all these are pretty much, well, those are classics. I do have some new favorites. McBoo. This is a little unicorn shape. And this is gooey marshmallows, campfire marshmallow, Palo Santo, and vanilla frosted grams. I don't know what made this scent. You get the Palo Santo. That, cr that like smoky, smooth, creamy Palo Santo. You smell the graham cracker, which I feel like in most blends, like graham cracker is just graham cracker. Smoky marshmallow and gooey marshmallow, and you smell both. Like as I'm smelling it, I smell the toasty marshmallow, but I can also smell like gooey jet puff marshmallow or like marshmallow fluff. Oh my god, so good! Powerhouse, and I have so much of this in so many forms. It's like I need to melt it because I love it so much and enjoy it. And then last, but certainly not least. The mastermind of Drew and Catherine King collectible lunchbox. Raspberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. This instantly shot to the favorites list of so many people, and I'm so grateful. I'm so glad you love this scent. Think of a peanut butter and homemade raspberry jam sandwich. Ditch the white bread and put it on homemade zucchini bread. And you have this scent. It's heaven. It's heaven. And it's so strong. I have melted it before. I love it. And if it's favorites week, I need to put a favorite that I put my seal on because I came up with it. Anyway, that is my melting basket. I cannot wait to watch everybody's videos on their favorites this week. You get to know yourself more. You get to know everybody else more. What are all these favorites? You haul wax all the time. Now it's time to show it off. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing week. I know I will, melting the best sense in the world. I'll have a great day. I love you so much. You matter. Subscribe. Bye, guys.